I'll do it on you, man. Who was your first PSA match against and in what event? Um, I've got no idea, Nathan. <laughs> no idea. I, I, I know I played the qualifying of the Swiss Open was one of my first events. No idea against who. Was the Swiss Open? Was it? I, I know I made the final of that tournament. Um, lost to Wilstrop in the final, but no idea who the first qualifying was against. Oliver Regelberger? Oh, Oliver, how's he doing? <laughs> No, no, never heard of him. Uh, never heard of him. <laughs> Fantastic. Can you remember what the score was in that match? Three love. Correct. That was a, a wild guess. But yeah. That was your debut, 2002. But when did you win your first title? And what was that tournament? It was uh, Squash Olis in uh, Rennes in France. And I think it could have been 2003. Uh, correct tournament, 2002. Two? First year on the tour, eh? Do you remember it's who great. you beat in the final? Derek Ryan. Right. Derek Ryan. What was the score? 3-1 probably. 3-0? 3-0. Yeah, Derek was a clever player. He was a master at time-wasting. Master. Right there. <laughs> That was the first. How many PSA titles have you won in total? I think 11. 12. 12. See, I'm doing well. Correct. Yeah. 12. Can you name them all? I'm not joking. <laughs> 12 titles, but how many tournaments have you played in, in your career? How many tournaments? Well, I'm 32 now. I started out when I was 19 on the circuit. So that's 13 years of approximately 15 tournaments a year is 150 is 195 tournaments. Let's say 196 tournaments, almost 200 tournaments, Nathan. <laughs> You've gone too high. Too high. A few years of injury. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about those. I seem to forget about the the good times. <laughs> 175 tournaments. Oh, it's not a bad guess. Not far away, hmm. not far away. During your career, how many players have you bageled? I, I'm, I'm not really into the, the bageling uh, thing, uh, Nathan. Um, I think it's a bit cruel, you know, like you, you play uh, you play a local player into the qualifying, you know, and his family and his friends are, have gathered, you know, to watch him play and then and then the, the, the unbelievable uh, pro uh, beats the local uh, 11 love. I think, uh, yeah, it's not really uh, my thing, but I think I've done it like eight or nine times. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Twice. Twice. Do you have any idea who those two players were? Two locals, probably. Oh, I've, uh, I think I've bageled uh, Stuart Boswell. No? I was 11-1. Sorry, sorry, Stuart. Um, no, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. Henrik Muspen, 2011, Columbian Open. Really? And Jens Schur, 2008, in Santiago. It's probably a mistake on the, the PSA side, I think. <laughs> That's how many times you've bageled players. But how many times have you been bageled in your career? Um... One once that I can really remember, and that was against uh, Kempi in Wolverhampton. And I remember after the fourth game, my coach saying, "Okay, LJ, you're gonna play the fifth game now. And the way you play this game, this defines your character. This is what you've been training for your whole career. This is your personality that has to come out now." And then two minutes later, uh, I lost 11 love, and. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Is that the only time? <laughs> <laughs> the only one that I can't remember. Unfortunately, yeah. there's two more. Two more? Oh my, yeah, probably Will Strop. Rami is here. I mean, Bagel by Rami. 2010. 
Second game. Oh yeah, my yeah, my knee hurt, I remember yeah. Shahir <laughs> Razik? I think bailed by Shahir. Ah, uh, that, that surely that must be a mistake because <laughs> because he plays at such a slow pace. <laughs> um, no, he does. He does. I mean, I'm sure I can win a point against him. <laughs> I must have won a point. What's the longest match of your career, and do you know how many minutes it was? It, uh, my guess, um, it was against Borja Golan in the final of the Blue Nose Classic. I don't know, it, it was a pretty long match. I'm not sure if that's the longest. What year are you thinking that? Uh, it's when I won the tournament there, so <laughs> must have been ages ago. <laughs> uh, two. The longest match of your career was against Donald Selby in Blue Nose. Really? 109 minutes, 2013. No way, quite recent. See, I'm still quite fit. <laughs> I can still do it. Question 10. What's the longest winning streak in your career on the PSA World Tour? So how many consecutive matches have you won on the PSA World Tour? Oh, there was one stage in uh, 2011 where I just could not lose. <laughs> uh, no, I won, uh, I won two tournaments back to back, which was uh, pretty uh, rare. Uh, I won uh, Montreal and I won Winnipeg. And then after I flew to Calgary and made the semifinals there. So I guess I won 10, 10 matches in a row. Correct. See, I remember the good times. You mentioned the semi-final. Who was it that brought that winning streak to an end? Um, I think it was either Hisham Ashur or David Palmer. Palmer? No, 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 Hisham. Hisham, right. yeah. Which two players have you played the most in your PSA career? you played these two guys exactly the same number of times. 11, to be precise. Which two players do you think it is? Um, I know my record against Wilstrop is not positive, uh, but I think I've played him 11 times, Wilstrop. And um, let's say Matthew. Correct. Yeah. Both yeah. Some good records. Finally, LZ Animal's highest ranking on the PSA World Tour so far is number nine. How many months were you at number nine? Oh, that's easy, man. Thirteen. Is it <laughs> no. Oh, wait. It's twelve. Sorry, one month in 2010. Then the whole 2011, I didn't make the top ten. And then in 2012, 11 months. Correct. Next year.